Oh, oh, am I live? It says I'm live. Oh man, work you piece of crap. What just happened? I lost my my chat feed. Okay, there it is. Come over farther where I can see you. What? Oh, oh, it is really bright. I gotta turn all these lights down. I figured I could sit here and drink by myself, or I could talk to you guys while I do it. Let me know if I've made a huge mistake. Sometimes I worry. Can you hear me okay? I need my live control. I'm going to turn the lights on just a smidge. Yeah! First official stream from the new house. We're in the D&D &D basement. Uh, that is the door to the sex dungeon behind me. And yes, the door cage is there. For sure it's happening. It's happening. Pretty awesome. I want this chat to be bigger. There we go. That's better. I want it bigger than that, actually. Yes, thank you, Sean. So, uh, please do not donate to me tonight. If you want to spend some money, if you want to give some money to somebody who needs it, there is a link in the description to the GoFundMe for uh, our friend Travis, aka Explore Adventure Moto, whose wife died this week. So um, we want to support him and his family in this time. And so uh, give them some money to breathing room to deal with funeral expenses and general living expenses while they deal with this tragedy. Um, just She's only 36 years old. So... Uh, Please don't donate any money to me tonight. Please, if you have any that, that you want to give, give it to the GoFundMe in uh, in the description. <sighs> that goes to all of you in the replay, too. That, that link will be active. Yeah, welcome. Thank you all for coming in tonight. It's going to be a fun stream. We are giving away a huge prize. I got you, Bob. Uh, we're giving away a... $600 value, a weekend training expedition from our friends at Ride Adventures in Bend. I just did two weekends in a row. It was super awesome, and you should do it too, uh, if you're local. So the, the, here's the caveat. There's two caveats to this contest that we're going to do tonight, and I will, I will repeat these over and over. But one, if you want to enter, and, and actually in general, you should sign up for their mailing lists for their newsletter. It is one email a month, just like Giant Loops. It's not a spam thing. It's just to let you know about what's going on because they have opportunities all over the West Coast and the world, really. They have tours in Argentina, and uh, they do Baja every summer, and they're going to be doing training classes in Vegas. So sign up for their newsletter if you want to enter the contest, or you just should because they're a cool company that does cool stuff. But also, um, you'll have to be here to win when the time happens. When the time happens, when we give it away. But the, the training expedition we're giving away is uh, September 24th and 25th in Bend, and I will be one of your trainers, one of your coaches. So we'll be riding and learning together, and that'll be awesome. It's been so cool to be teaching again. Also, I don't want to jinx it, but I have gigabit internet now, so I better not get any choppy bullshit on the stream tonight, is all I'm saying. That better not happen. Because if it does, that's on YouTube. Because my upload is eight times faster than it used to be right now. And Trav may be in here later. He said he might pop in. So, uh, yeah. So please keep, th keep Travis in your thoughts. And uh, and like I said, I don't I don't want your money tonight. I think if you're going to donate it, give it to Travis. We're up to, I think, $6,500 in a day and a half. That's really good. So uh, I would love to hit $10,000 for him. Yeah, there's Trav right there. So... Trav, we're all thinking about you. The brick wall's in the garage. But I don't have to stream from the garage anymore. Uh, I probably won't. It's not going to be as comfortable out there. I have like air conditioning and stuff in here. It's pretty exciting. So sign up for that mailing list. And be prepared to win and hang out with us. And if you can't do this one, I'm hoping to train with them next summer. But uh, there's Vegas opportunities in Vegas to do the same kind of training. It's in the garage, dude. I'm going to film my video, my Dork in the Road videos out there. Awesome, Anthony. High school science teacher. 
My best friend was a high school science teacher. Now he's an administrator, so I don't talk to him anymore. Oh, also, Duck Fan's selling his Ducati, so if anybody wants to buy a 95 SSSP uh, 900 that is in ridiculously immaculate shape, uh, you should buy it from him. Is there a way to get... I could get a bicycle in here, dude. That would be the best I could do. Yeah, I don't. The doorway I don't think is wide enough for the handlebars. Maybe. Any pics of what, Scott? The garage? It looks the same as the other garage. There's always going to be a little lag. That's that's how YouTube does it. But we shouldn't get a bunch of choppy bullshit. Yeah, I could I could put a picture of a bike up behind me. That would be good. I thought about streaming from my office. Oh, in the ad, Scott. There's pictures in the ad. I thought about streaming from the office because that's my gear room too. So like all my helmets and stuff are in the background. But I didn't want to sit at my computer the whole time. I wanted to sit on this comfy chair. So that's what I did. Sorry, guys. Leif, you know me too well. You know me too well. Nathan's the one that does dumb shit after a couple whiskeys. He's the one that tried to get the fire going with the exhaust from his 500. I've never tried that. <laughs> that was the stupidest thing I've ever seen. And a very not Nathan. I could take the bars off and then I could get it in here. But that would be, you know, wouldn't be as fun. Is this the new Dork Dojo? Yeah. Um... This is the Dorkade, so you, you can't see, I'll actually show you if you want, but over there, I bought a bar, so I have a bar in here, I got it for a hundred bucks, you guys, before you start giving me shit about how I'm like a freaking, everyone thinks I make so much money, no, I just buy shit on Facebook Marketplace cheap, so I bought a bar for a hundred dollars, and then there's like a TV loungy area over there, the Dorkade's gonna be behind me, and then this right here is where I sit and play video games, because I like to sit very close to the TV, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. Obviously, none of the decor is up yet. We Yes, we have been here for a month, but we didn't get carpet in this room until last Friday. So uh, I didn't even get to start moving into this room until last weekend. That's why it's so sparse. Whew. But that's pretty cool. We have a lot of space down here. It's awesome. If I had to get a street bike, what would I get? Something comfortable. That's the thing. I just like riding my... My Norton is my favorite street bike I've ever ridden. Like, I just ride it. But, uh... I don't know. Something comfortable. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if you said you can have a free street bike if I would... what I would even pick. I am getting a new bike, though. And again, you're gonna be like, you buy so many bikes. Nah, it's free. I'm getting another Braz. Soon. Cats upstairs, Tig. So if you just got here, because I know that uh, there's more viewers here than when I said it last time, just please don't donate tonight. I don't, I don't want your money. Um, if you want to give money, please donate to the GoFundMe for our friend Explore Adventure Moto and his family. And that is uh, the first line in the description below. So donate there. Eight ninety Adventure R, a touring friendly motorcycle. No, because the suspension is going to be stiff and uncomfortable. And the seat on those is not as good. If you want an 890 that you can tour on, get a Norden because the seat is 10 times better. Scott, I spent all weekend riding the Tenere. I just didn't film it. All last weekend. Oh, shit. That's the other thing. The winner of the training expedition, the winner of the training expedition gets to pick which bike I take. You get to tell me which bike I take. So if, it, if it's the Norden, the Tenere, or the 450L. I'm not going to take the kids XT225. Uh, because I, it, one, it would be too easy. I wouldn't learn anything on it. And two, it, uh, as much as I, I think it's good and reliable, I haven't really had it out on a long ride yet, and I don't want it to, I don't want to find out it's not in as good a shape as I thought, you know, 50 miles from Bend. Paul, you can drop the, the whiskey anywhere you want, dude. Put it in the mailbox, I don't care. It's a long driveway, so. I wouldn't understand if you didn't want to come all the way in. I get it. Look at that, the bitrate is so good. 
I'm into it. <laughs> How good is my health insurance? I don't have any. I'm on my wife's insurance now. Benefits of being self-employed. I, I put a throttle tamer on the 450L, Scott, so it's a little better. But we'll see. If I, if I keep not liking it, I'm going to get the AIM ECU from Taco Moto, I think. Those guys are cool. I met them at the AIM Expo, coincidentally. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. My friends. Oh, man, it's so delayed. Like I'm, I haven't even started looking over here yet on the other screen. Hold on, see how long it takes. No, no, no. Oh, I just did it. Nope, I didn't. I undid it. Tyler, you missed so much. Are you watching on the big screen in the shop? So Tyler, Tyler Miller right there, he will be the other trainer if you win the training expedition next weekend. Tyler's the one in the video giving all, dropping all the science. Thanks, Richard. I was just telling everybody how awesome a prize it is. Um, so, you know, you missed a lot, Tyler. I met, talked about that. I encourage people to donate to the GoFundMe for Trav. And uh, was it showing everyone my basement and drinking a couple of sips of this beverage. And that's as far as I got. So you didn't miss that much, Tyler. I did start early, Critter. That was just... Excuse me. I had tacos for dinner. I was just sitting here, and it was all set up, and I was like, well, I can sit here and drink this beer by myself for 15 more minutes, or I can just start it. So I just started. What up, Eddie? Yeah, Bryrick, that's why I took it. Everyone's like, you just love the Norden more. I literally brought the Norden on that training expedition, the first one, because Tyler said he wanted to ride it. I brought it so he could try it. <laughs> it wasn't like, oh, this one's my favorite. It was, well, Tyler said he wanted to ride this one, so I'll bring it. I really want to get on one of their 500Xs and make a whole video review of how it does off-road. But every time I try, they're all taken. Just a small screen and a PBR. That's how it's done, Tyler. I need Brandon to set up the screen for you. What is next on the new bike day list? I can tell you exactly what is next on the new bike day list. Uh, they are sending me another Bras 250 to make content on. And it has a 21 inch front now and they got rid of the alarm and the remote start. So it hopefully won't kill the battery like the last one did. I had to replace the battery on the one I had before. But 21 inch front, that'll make a difference. That'll be nice. Also, I carved my first trail here on the property. It's not very long because it took, I used up a whole battery probably making, a whole battery in my weed whacker clearing uh, a couple hundred feet. But I cleared enough to get up there and turn around and come down. That was my goal. Monday, Bob. The day two videos on Monday. Uh, members, you already remember, you should be able to see it already, dude. It's already up. You just got to go on the community page. Ah, uh, no, Gary, there will be no puff puffing in the house. That will be a garage, or a, well, actually, we have a wraparound deck. So that is a deck activity. It's a deck activity. But there is a bar, and there are video games in the doorcade. So, two of my favorite things. My dog's here, somewhere. My wife's dog's right here. I don't know where my dog is. Oh, he's on the back of the couch, staring at me like a creep. Creep. You guys want to see the bar? It's not that impressive from here, but it is over there. Things aren't set up. Thanks, Marshall. He's here, so he can see your he can see your thoughts and prayers. Uh, I can't the the cable on the camera is about four feet long, so I can't give you a tour of the whole house, but I can show you what's in this room if you guys are interested. A couple of people asked about a, a video tour of the place. Uh, uh, just we're just not set up yet, as you can see. We were waiting for carpet, and now we're painting, so it's just not uh, very impressive yet. But eventually, I can't really show you the property. I can, but I just have to hike up through the Black Rivers. All right, get ready for a uh, warning if you have uh, motion sickness. But I'll show you the bar. So this is the down. This is the basement. 
That is an old, uh, it's a cellar, and it's concrete, it's nice and cool in there, but my wife's going to turn it into a workout room, so that, and, but the door is off because they put the new carpet in the pad so thick you can't open it, so I have to shave the bottom of the door off. Hi Kyle. And then, yeah, there's a lot of boxes. That's the bar, right there, that's the bar, uh, my humidor is on it, and a few bottles, I... All my bottles are in the storage unit, so I gotta get to the storage unit, and, uh, yeah. I have a KLX 300 video, David, but not a dual sport, because nobody's let me ride one yet. And then over here, well, there's a big light, but you can see there's a, a stove, and there's gonna be a TV and, like, a sitting area over there. Yeah. Okay, now I gotta put this back where it was. I have not used the Tractionator GPSs, but that is what all of the bikes in the Ride Adventures fleet are. So uh, they seem to like them a lot. The contents of the Dorcade so far. Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, and Marvel vs. Capcom. I had a line on a decently priced, I refuse to pay full price for them, they're too expensive. But uh, I had a line on uh, an NBA Jam, but the guy didn't want to budge on price, and I was like, I don't really want it that much, so I didn't buy it, but we'll see. We'll see. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, Matthew. Yeah, it's a big room. It's huge down here. There's, like, really four distinct areas. I have room for, like, six more arcade machines if I really want to go that crazy. Ugh. <sighs> Where do you show up to ride with us and bend? Well, you have to pay for it. Uh, if you pay to come to the training expedition, then they'll give you the rendezvous point. And we'll meet there on Friday night. I have a couple beers. It's kind of a cool setup because you, you meet everybody kind of on Friday night. We have like a meet and greet. We kind of have a couple beers. You can have dinner, whatever. So everyone's kind of comfortable with each other. I think that's really important when you're going to be vulnerable and learning something, especially something that you maybe don't feel like you're great at. Um, because, you know, we're going to crash, we're going to drop our bikes, and so it's good that we kind of meet each other and can kind of build a little trust the night before. And then, you know, I spend a little time in the morning hanging out, then we do some drills, then we ride, drill, ride, drill. And then uh, the second day, have lunch at Three Creeks, beautiful lake. And then the next day, we do maybe uh, we do a warm-up drill, ride, one more or two more drills, and then we just ride the rest of the day. Like, it's a cool... It's probably 50, not even 50-50, maybe 50-50. 50% just riding with a group and 50% training. And uh, you get some interesting experience. Like last weekend, we had, uh, let's see, somebody crashed a 790 and it broke. So we had to deal with that. And then the, uh, the Pan America that was with us stopped working. And so we've been, we spent a bunch of time trying to get that going. I got great video of Tyler... Tyler's genius idea of putting one bike up against the rear tire of the of the uh, Pan America because we were trying to jump start it and we got it off the ground. And we were spinning the tire and it wouldn't work. We couldn't get it to to start. But I got video. Well, it was a noble attempt. But my point is, this is these are the things that happen on adventure rides, right? And, it, and so it, you also get to experience that and get to experience the way that everyone kind of comes together and everyone's like, oh, I have this tool and oh, I have a jump pack and. Let me carry that for you. Like, I ran up to this store and got some water and brought them back so they could quench their thirst. It's just a cool experience. In Bend, Berserker. Bend, Oregon. Yeah, I don't know. They, they announced, Honda announced that new engine today. The one that's supposed to go in the Trans Alp. So, it's legit. What's up, Tim? Yeah, a stripper pole. That's a very thick stripper pole, but hey, it's what I'm used to. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta edit that video into something. That was all the video I took last weekend. I just wanted to ride for once, ride and coach and focus on the people in front of me. Thanks, Ryan. Uh, Tim, as soon as I can find one that's reasonably priced. Yeah, there was just too much torque on the engine. It wouldn't, it wouldn't turn it. We're riding all over the place, Berserker. Yeah, it's thick enough to hold me, I think. It's been a while since I've been on a stripper pole.
shit happens. Oh. Delicious. So don't forget if you want to uh, if you want to enter to win or really just in general you should do this. There's a link in the description to the uh, the newsletter for uh, from our friends at Ride Adventures and it's once a month. It's not a super spammy thing, but uh, you should sign up one if you want to enter the contest, but two you should just sign up anyway because they have rides and tours and training ex expeditions all over uh, Patagonia, Baja California, Las Vegas. I hear rumors about things happening in Arizona soon. So, and maybe if I'm lucky enough, I'll get to go like and do some training in Vegas. And any reason to go to Vegas, I'll take it. Especially when my wife is like, especially when, you know, it's for business. Mm. <sighs> Delicious. Oh, yeah, it's on the Only Beards. It's on the Only Beards. Eddie, that's how we do it. Good news, though. This is a question you've all been waiting to ask. No one's asked it yet, but I know you've been wondering. Is the bathroom close enough that you can hear me pee down here? The answer is yes. There's one right down here, right around the corner. So, I'll try to remember to close the door, but you know how bad I am at that. <clears throat> what is included in the giveaway? Good question. So, it's two days of training and riding with uh, an expert instructor in Tyler and also me who uh, uh, mostly is there to serve as an example of it being okay to fail and um, offer positive encouragement. I'm really good at that. And uh, so that is a $600 value, uh, two full days. And then if you need a bike, so if you're coming in from somewhere else and you need a bike, they rent motorcycles. They have T7s, they have CB500Xs, they have Africa Twins, they have 790s. Uh, so you can do that from them, but uh, it, that's not included if you need a bike. You can also ride your own bike. I had a bunch of questions about, uh, well, what about dual sports? Yeah, any, any off-road motorcycle is fine. We had somebody that was going to do it on a TW200. Uh, we had two 300Ls last weekend, so any size is good. That's why I'm saying, and the winner will get to pick which bike I bring. So Norden, Tenere, or 450L. I got to get the tires on the 450L, but I got to do that anyway because we're going camping at Neighbor Daryl's property this weekend. And uh, we're going to ride Millican area, and I'm going to need the good tires on there. i got to put my sand riding skills to the test that Tyler taught me. So, don't forget to sign up for the newsletter. Also, for those of you that just got here, uh, if you feel like donating tonight, please don't donate to me. Please just click the link in the description to the GoFundMe for our friend Explore Adventure Moto and his family. Uh, they need the money right now a lot more than I do, so please... If you feel like donating, please donate to them. Don't donate on the stream tonight. And don't donate on the stream for them because YouTube takes 30% of that. On GoFundMe, they'll get it all. That's right. I'm there to be confidence inspiring. Sometimes by being a bad example. Sometimes by cheering you on. Sometimes by giving you a little bit of coaching from the perspective of someone who learned when they were older. Which not everyone has. So, yeah. No, Scott, you cannot use one of the bikes we don't take because uh, insurance. But you can use one of their bikes, which is even better because, you know, nobody cares if you drop it. I'll be butt puckered the whole time if you're riding my bike. Those things cost money, turns out. Who knew? Who knew? I feel like it might be another beer time Do you see this it's showing up pretty well on the camera I have no idea what I did it was definitely on the uh, on the tour last weekend but I don't know where Matthew there's a link in the description because it is a pain in the ass to find it Tyler I had a hell of a time finding the page where you sign up for the newsletter so I put a link in the description for all of you just click in the description it should be there but yeah I don't I had to google it I couldn't find it on the website I don't know what's up with that if you're curious about the training expedition, by the way, there's a link in the description to that, too. Um, I try to link everything that might be relevant and useful to you tonight. So, check it out. It's all in the description. <sighs> yep, all links in the description. I try to hook you up when I can, when I remember ahead of time, which is rare, but I do do it. I'm going to grab another beer, but the fridge is right there, so I'll, you'll still be able to hear me. <coughs> but I have to go around this side because uh, the camera and everything is hooked up over there. It's in the way. 
So I have to go on a little extra walk. Ah. It's all good, dog. I'm not going anywhere. Don't freak out, bro. <laughs> yeah, Tyler, I gotta tell you a secret. I don't actually like Rainiers. Uh, but, you know, it's better than nothing. Oh, CRF family, I wish I had an Excite Bike arcade cabinet. Eddie, do you have some neons? Tim, you're collecting your prize right now. You get to hang out with me on a Friday night on the internet. Move, go, well. Yeah, slowly, Nick. I still have a bunch of stuff in a storage unit we haven't gotten out yet. Oh, yeah. Thank you, MyADV360. So, I mentioned the GoFundMe for Travis. Uh, Veterans Back 40 Adventures, which is a great charity that you should you should support if you have the opportunity to, donated $1,000 to the GoFundMe today. That was really cool. Those guys are awesome. So, shout out to those guys. Big thank you to them and really to everyone who's donated. Big or small. I mean, the cool thing is that everyone's contributing what they can and it's really, really adding up. Like, we are... Shut up, Eddie, really? Okay, yes, I need some for the bar area. Eddie, you're the man. Hook a brother up. Hold on, I was going to check on the... I'm not ignoring you. I want to see what we're at on the, on the GoFundMe. I want to give an accurate total. Because the original goal was five grand, but you guys destroyed it. So we're at 6,600 right now. I would love to hit 10K for them. I would love it if we could do that. Thanks, Eddie. That would be the shit. Especially if it was this. I'll take anything, but this is my fave right here. That's the one I want the most. Or like a Ranye or a freaking like Hams or something stupid like that. Old Henry Weinhard. Yeah, 6600 is amazing, guys. You're This community, and that's why I wanted to do it, because there's so many people that wanted to help. And I just wanted to create something where they, they could, you know? Like, give them a chance to do it. That's amazing. I mean, it's really, it's honestly touching and mind-blowing. and good. To, it's just amazing to see. And yet, I'm 0% surprised. I knew that if we set something up, people would come together and make it happen. And I was right. So, y'all just proving me right, left and right. That's sweet, Eddie. You're a rock star. I can pay you in shout outs. Or money, you know. That's also a thing I would pay you in. Since I stream down here, this is obviously business expense if I buy. This is office furniture, right? I'm kidding, IRS. I'm kidding, CIA, if you're watching. So, also a big shout out and thank you to Ride Adventures and Tyler specifically, who's in here right now, for hooking it up with the prize. Uh, I'm very excited to ride with whomever wins. See, you moved Trav to speechlessness, which is, you know, rare for him. Stormtrooper kit, sweet. How hard was Ruby grade? Well, we went up it. It wasn't super hard. We just weren't expecting it. Uh, it definitely sort of came out of nowhere because we were like, it was the end of the day and we were just trying to get to our next campsite and putting along and then it's like, oh, we have to go up there. <laughs> it was, it's, uh, you know, it's loose enough and rocky enough that you can't really stop. It's steep enough that you have to keep going. <laughs> but it's not like super difficult. I don't know, Nick. My plan is to build, like, shelters like a lean-to and maybe, like, a little cabin or something eventually. It's a lot of work. It's a it's a way down the line thing, but... I gotta get the trails cleared first. I can't even get to half the property right now. It's just all blackberries, which is not exciting. They're hard to kill. The prize does not come with a bike rental. You can rent from them, or you just bring your own. Uh, yeah. 
David, best vintage dual sport. I mean, my favorite's obviously the uh, the OG Africa Twin, and maybe the Trans Alp. And then Honda made that uh, what was it NX two fifty or something like that. It's it weighs like nothing. It's like super lightweight, crazy cool kind of bike they can't even make anymore. I can't remember. Yeah, but goats have to be like taken care of, right? Don't you have to like have a place for them to sleep at night, clean their hooves, and blah, 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 blah. <sighs> After spending time on both bikes, which do you prefer for ADV style ride and camp? Uh, I, in my, so, in my experience, the Norden is far more comfortable on the road, but the suspension is a little squishy. I bottom it out a lot, and I thought it was because I had all the gear on it, but I was jumping it two weekends ago and bottoming it out again. So, the, uh, the Tenere definitely has a little bit stiffer suspension. I think the Norden's a little bit more progressive, which is good. But uh, it, I wish it had the uh, the suspension from the 890 Adventure R. It's not quite as as stiff as that. But so I guess it just depends on what we're doing. Um, but it's hard to beat. It's hard to beat the Norden with the very comfortable seat and the cruise control, and it's capable enough off road that I don't worry about it. So I mean, I love the Tenere. It's like either one of those bikes. If it was the only one I had, I would think it was the greatest adventure bike ever made. But they're both so good. <laughs> it's it's my favorite is the one I rode last. And you know, if you don't win the prize, that's the other reason we're here tonight, is uh sign up anyway. Like come ride and train with us. Like we would we're trying to fill that class. It's the last one of the year. You know, and, and I would be grateful if you signed up because it gives me a chance to, to coach and teach. And I get to go up and ride again, too, which is great. And I, I do get paid to coach, so that's a thing, too. But, uh, you know, if you don't win, it would be really cool if you, some of you signed up and we could have... Wouldn't it be cool if it was like a whole group of dork fans? Like, it was all internet riding buddies getting together and being real-life riding buddies? That would be sweet as hell. Jeremy, that's a great question. The Norden is more confidence-inspiring because... Uh, it is so much easier to ride because it is it is more comfortable, squishier, and it has all the rider aids. Scott, time frame on new bike day? You mean the the bras? I'm not sure. It actually shipped today, so I would say if I should have it in a few weeks. <sighs> awesome, Ryan. Have a great trip. Jealous. JT23. Do I miss the DR4 DRZ400? Not yet, but I. It, I ride my adventure bikes more in the summer, and I seem to get on the dual sports more in the winter, so we'll see. The first or third time I get totally beat up by that 450L, I'm going to miss it a lot. I'm Brad. I think you should do it the other way around. I think if you learn to ride off-road, all those skills translate to the street, and you'll be able to do things like handle wet pavement if the ass end starts to slide or whatever. Great question, Jeremy. I actually looked into setting it up. Um... I was going to do it, I, I had this genius idea, I was going to do what Giant Loop did last year and try to get, uh, just a reserve a bunch of spots at Crescent Lake, like the first weekend in October, as sort of an end of season thing, and they're closing two weeks earlier this year, so there's there's not going to be any, uh, any availability, so it'll have to be next summer, or next spring, probably more accurately, because it's easier to get, I want to reserve this, there's this group camp on Highway 20 called Fernview, and it's, uh, it's got about 16 sites, I think, and it would be perfect because you can rent the whole thing. It's like 250 bucks, and uh, my wife has offered to help me set it up, and we'll do a... I know a ton of places to ride out there, so I could put together some good tracks for everybody. It'd be awesome. <sighs> Delicious. Delicious. Sorry, I'm just catching my breath. I've been talking for 35 minutes straight. All right, Jeremy. Kind of a travel, kind of a riot. Uh, Jesus, I've only had one beer. Long distance for you. Dispersed camping is free, but it's hard to find a spot that'll fit as many people as I know we're going to show up. Awesome, Glenn. Good to see you. Thanks, Lexi Fox. I'm going to put that dash on the bike. 
I started looking into it today, and then I got sidetracked, and then I had to go pick my kid up. But because I have a charging plug to go in it, and I got the um, the plug for the accessory plug, I ordered one from a guy on eBay, so I don't even have to mess with it. I just plug it in and wire it in, and I'm good. So Lexi Fox makes a custom dash for the 450L, and it's pretty sweet. I gotta get a tachometer to put on it. Kind of want to get a trail tech eventually. If I if I hang on to that bike and really turn it into the uh, the B, the BDR Slayer that I want it to be, I would like to get a trail tech with the GPS and everything built in, so I don't have to deal with mounting something else. That's all right, Gary. I wish I had an adventure van. Get yourself a dual sport to put on the back of your adventure van. That's how it's done. Later, Joe. Good to see you. Thanks for hanging out as long as you could. Thanks for being a member. You're going to miss the members only after party. <sighs> Brapson. It's great so far. You know, it's older, so this house was built in the 70s, obviously. I don't know if you could tell from the wood paneling. But, uh, so there's things like, uh, you know, little issues, plumbing issues, and, you know, things that need to be fixed. But uh, it's rough around the edges, but, man, the, the property, you just, you can't build trees. So, and I like the house. It has a ton of character. And I think it's going to be really awesome. Like, my wife's upstairs painting right now. We just got this new carpet in the basement. It had this really... 50 year old shitty carpet that was destroyed like there was a dirt outline of where there was obviously a pool table good to know Lex but it's gonna be a great spot you don't realize how much like urban living wears on you until you get out of it like we lived behind we, there was a pretty busy street behind us and my neighborhood was like like jam packed like uh like the, you couldn't even park your car on the street and kids screaming all the time and it's like we get out here and it's just quiet all i hear is there's roosters down the street one of our neighbors has has chickens but crickets and that's all i hear and it is like just so relaxing and you just don't realize how how stressful it is to constantly be bombarded by noise until you get out of it awesome average woodhound dual sports a great place to start thanks ace uh it was her, her foot bob so the wife got cleared to stand up and walk around. This We went to the doctor this week, and uh, she got cleared to walk on the boot. So she was supposed to keep her, uh, supposed to keep it, supposed to stay off her, keep her, I can't words, supposed to keep her weight off her foot up until this point. But it's been six weeks, and so now she's walking around in the boot. Um, and we'll, uh, we'll go back in another six weeks for a final, uh, final evaluation. Yeah, it was a very safe, very nice neighborhood, but it was very full. I don't miss it. I miss neighbor Daryl, who was going to be here tonight, but then like 14 things happened. And basically, he's going to be here next. Oh, shit, I'm not supposed to spoil it. Never mind. Somebody may randomly bang on the garage and bring me a beer, and it might be neighbor Daryl next month. Not yet, Brapson, but I'm going to work on it. I built about 100 feet of trail yesterday. And by built, I mean cleared all the blackberries and the battery on the thing was dead 450L is not lowered uh, my inseam is 30 inches so it's pretty tall for me but I've gotten used to just sliding my leg over uh, I don't like lowering bikes I think it messes with the geometry and it reduces your it reduces your uh, clearance and so I would unless it was absolutely necessary like Chris for example of Chris and Nathan she has to lower a bike because she's like 5 foot 3 or something so it's just not possible for her. But if you can get to the point where you can slide a cheek off and just be comfortable with it. And the nice thing about the light bikes is you can lean them over farther because they're easier to hold up. Uh, that's the way to go. You do get used to it. I used to be very intimidated by the seat height of my 250L even. And now I don't I don't bat an eye on the, uh, on the 450L. The nice thing about the AT is it at least has two seat positions. The lower position is very helpful. Yeah, I know a guy that sells tractors, but I don't think I can afford one yet. Even at the discount, he could maybe get me. That's what McLevin does now. 
So you know motor cloth. Just gotta hang the old cheek off. You gotta be you gotta plan where you're gonna put your foot down too. Like, okay, which side is uphill? Okay, I'm gonna put the right foot down or I'm gonna put the left foot down. Right, you gotta think ahead a little bit. And sometimes it goes down and that's okay. Oh, 300 L is very confidence inspiring. Hell yeah. That's a that is a fantastic bike to start riding though. It really is. Like for everything, I mean, it's a little squishy. I think it's a bike you eventually outgrow, but not until, or you don't, if you're Critter. Although he had a suspension redone. Don't let him give you shit. But uh, um, it's a great bike to start on. It's very easy to ride. Yeah, Jeremy, come come clear some trail for me. Fortunately, it's it's pretty clear underneath. It's It's all big, tall, old trees, so... There's not a lot, it's nothing but blackberries underneath. If I can get the blackberries cleared out, I think I could literally just ride through them if I had something that would do it. Like if I had a side-by-side, -side, I could just point up the hill and go and eventually wear down a trail, but there's not a ton of stuff on the ground that i found so far. I mean, obviously I've seen five friggin' percent of it, but you know, you know, you know. Well, I, I saw it. somebody was selling a Rokon Trail Breaker nearby, and I was super tempted to buy it, but I can't because we just bought a house and shit. But uh, the two-wheel drive Rokon Fat Tired Trail Breaker would be awesome out here. Like, I could take that thing anywhere. That thing would climb a tree, dude. They're really cool. Blackberries do attract bears. I haven't seen any. We have a lot of deer. We have a whole family of deer. There's a fawn and two does. Nope. There's a doe and two fawns, and then there's a buck who sleeps in my front yard. My wife's seen him a couple times. They, they named him Dave. He's only like a forked horn, though. He's not super old. You guys say forked horn in other parts of the country? <sighs> Although, in other places, they count both sides. So a forked horn is a four-point, depending on where you are, which is garbage. That's not a four-point. That's a forked horn. My dog looks like Eddie Munster. Can you see my dog? He's all the way over there. You got a Trail 125, Eddie? Ah, I would love to ride it. I'd love to have one of those, but it's just like, when would I ride it, you know? I had the Grom, and I didn't even ride it, and it was awesome. Sadly. So if you're just getting here, two things. One, please don't donate money tonight. Uh, if you feel compelled to donate, please donate to the GoFundMe for Travis Explore Adventure Moto and his family. Um, and two, we are giving away a fabulous prize, a weekend training expedition with Ride Adventures in Bend, Oregon. And I will be one of your coaches. Was he on the chair? Stupid dog. Yeah, Carson. That, uh, this is the new house. Yep. So it'll be fun. Uh, we're gonna those training expeditions are super fun, and you're gonna ride in literally one of my favorite places on earth because I grew up in Sisters, and so we used to go up to Three Creek Lake all the time, and uh, that's totally where we're riding. That is where we spend the majority of our time. We have lunch at Three Creek Lake. Um, maybe it also changes. So like Tyler will look at the group and see where they are, and you know like like the first weekend we did very basic stuff, and then the second weekend the group was a little bit uh, more competent. More confident, both. And so he took us on a different trail, and we went and rode up to uh, Todd Lake, the Todd Lake Road, which was a, there was a water crossing, all kinds of cool stuff. Morga. I have practiced wheelies a little bit, but only enough so that I can do them to get over obstacles. I don't, I'm not a, a dank neuter guy. I just need to be able to get the front end up enough to loft over a log or something. Uh, I've been practicing lately the bouncing technique that uh, I saw in actually one of Ride Adventures videos, uh, and it's really just—it's not anything rocket. It's not rocket science. It's not earth shattering. You just compress the suspension, and then as it comes up, you gas it, and you can you, one you can hop the whole bike if you do it right, or two just get the front end up over stuff, and that's fun. I've been playing with that on kickers and stuff. Did everyone get through the class unscathed? Uh, no. No. I must have picked up eight or nine bikes the first weekend. Um, 
Nobody got hurt. One guy kind of twisted his knee, but he was okay. Uh, but we had two guys kind of decide that they didn't want to keep going the first weekend. And then the second weekend, we had a guy that crashed the 790. Not super bad, but he kind of messed up his wrist. And um, he knocked the fuel line off the bottom of the tank. And so they had to come rescue him. And then the, the Pan America just quit working. Uh, the guy, he thought the regulator had gone out because it had happened to him before. But it wouldn't. we could get it started, but it wouldn't run. EXCF is a great bike. And apparently they're pretty reliable. Tim's got thousands of miles on his. He just changed the oil every thousand miles or less. And uh, supposedly the dirt bikes are good. I, I will probably end up with one. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, the 450L is, is good and I'm enjoying it. But yeah, Jeremy, that's the point. So... It's for all ability levels, but they start with the absolute foundation basics. All, uh, there was only two of us the first weekend that had any dirt experience at all. The other six or seven guys had zero. And so um, it is good both for those people who are brand new. So it's a great place to start. And uh, But if you're someone who has a little bit of experience, it was really great to get back to the fundamentals and practice those because there was stuff that I didn't have. Yeah, Tim's got 11,000 on his, on his EXCF. Yeah, right. Har Could you believe it, Scott? A Harley had a problem. I tried not to give the guy too much shit about it because, you know, he was stressed and it's an expensive bike and it's got like 800 miles on it or something and it's having this trouble. But I was, in the back of my mind, I was like, I'm so shocked the Harley's the bike that stopped running. Yeah, dub dub. Oh, yay, dub dub. Gotcha. Yeah, Honda 125. Good one. Good bike, good machine. What time is it? 6.32. Is it only 6.32? I started ass early. So I probably won't do the thing where I make you guys wait to the very end of the stream to give away the prize, but we are going to at least get in an hour. I want to give a lot of people a time to show up. Because I'm, I'm stoked to find out who's coming with us and to find out which bike I'm taking because the winner gets to decide. The winner gets to pick. I should, with the caveat, it has to be one of my motorcycles. No, Scott, he was a cool guy. I felt really bad for him that that happened. He was just wearing regular, regular adventure gear. Tall guy. I gave him crap at one point because he only had a 19-inch front wheel, but, you know. I mean, I wouldn't hate it if people hit the like button. I'd like it even more if they popped over to the GoFundMe for Trav and, and donated some money. But what are we up to now? Sixty-eight hundred. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Armadillo bag is a great piece of gear. Yeah, I don't know if I prefer the Norton or if it's just easier to ride. It's definitely easier to ride. It requires less work from me, and I'm lazy. And it's fun. They're both great bikes. I don't... It's hard to, uh, to pick one. Yeah, Serge, I would, uh, if I decide to keep the Norden long term, I will, I will get it resprung. I'm bottoming it out. Every time I go off a jump, I bottom it out. That's crazy, Frank. Welcome to Oregon. Uh, I hope you're okay, Brad. Awesome, Jay. Glad you dig it. How high is the center of gravity on the Norden? Pretty low because the fuel tank is down low. All the weight of the fuel is uh, in the pods on the sides and the bottom, so it's definitely much lower than the Tenere. When am I planning to ride in Pennsylvania? I don't know. I don't have any plans to ride in the East Coast, but I'd love to someday. I'd love to see all kinds of parts of the country. Yeah, Scott, they had issues with the website, but they uh, extended the sale by a whole week. So It's still going on, by the way, so if you guys need any Giant Loop gear... The big Labor Day sale, um, stuffed up to 40% off. 
tell them the Motor Truck bags are 40% off, it's still going. I mean, I'd love it if you use my affiliate link, which is, you know, in several posts on the homepage. But uh, save that money. So it's going until the 12th, which is, what, Monday? But it is, it is an insane sale. Like, all the so Motor Truck bags are 40% off. Uh, tank bags, all tank bags are 30% off. Everything on the website is at least 20% off. You rode China hat? That's a great spot, dude. Yeah, Frank came at a perfect time when they're shutting down the power and trying to keep the state from burning down. Welcome to Oregon, bud. When am I doing my next BDR? I'm doing the Oregon BDR next year for sure. And I'm trying to work with Ride to set up uh, an Oregon BDR tour. We could do that. Jay, yes. So just like any other fuel container, this one doesn't vent. So yeah, you have to burp it. You have to burp it. You'll have to burp it when, you, when the elevation changes. You have to burp it when it gets hot because it'll expand. So the outer bag will keep the inner bag from stretching too much, but it's still not great to leave it like fully inflated. So yeah, you got to burp it once in a while. Uh, what's up, MDC? I put in about 100 feet of trail because uh, the battery on my weed, weed eater died. I just have not had any time. It's been, like you can see, we're not unpacked. Like we just got into this room this week because we just got the carpet in. So it's mostly been inside projects, but I'm trying to get out there. All right, I'm going to run to the bathroom and get another beer. So, um, excuse me, that was gross. Uh, talk amongst yourselves. If you were a motorcycle, what motorcycle would you be? And follow-up question, if I was a motorcycle, what motorcycle would I be? I'm curious what you think. I'll be right back. Oh. Well, the mountain was not out today, eh, Frank? That's sad. Dorkiest motorcycle, KLR, I'll take it. <laughs> I'd be a Harley, I don't like working either. <laughs> Boring but functional. Ooh, a Turing, that's exotic. Definitely KLR's in the running for me. Some steampunk abomination, I'll take it. I think I'm a TW200, I'm fat and slow. Old, but I'll get there eventually. Uh, do you need an aftermarket rear shock of 270 pounds on a 450L? You and I weigh the same. Probably eventually you might want it, but it's pretty stiff. Slow and holds a ton of gas. What is that? Oh, God, there's like an old dual sport. It's like a six-gallon tank. I think you're fine with stock for a while, James, but eventually, if you start riding it a lot, you may want a new spring on the rear. It also depends on how much gear you're carrying. And the 450 has a ridiculously robust subframe. You ever watch, um, God, what's his name? John T. Young, is that it? He's the guy that does all the BDRs on the, on the 450L, but he's got a video where he stands on the subframe. So, it's pretty robust, which is good if you like to carry gear. It's the exact opposite of the Husky 501. New Tigers are sweet. 900 or 1200, Bryrick. I like the 900 a lot. OC! Look at all you guys in OC. 
Should have a big OC meetup. Oregon City's not that big. I have not had to perform first aid on a fellow rider. The worst I've seen was when Mike broke his leg. And, uh, thanks, Tyler. And there was really nothing we could do besides keep him in the shade because his, his leg was broken inside of his boot, but it was also sort of wedged up against his bike, and we didn't want to move it and make it worse. So we just sort of made him comfortable. Um, that's the worst I've seen so far. Seventeen Tiger. Ten thousand miles on the GT Explorer. Sweet bike, dude. John was at Turatech? Shit. I didn't even know who he was until I bought my 450L and started looking. Got yourself a 390. Yeah, Frank can tell you about the 390. He's a fan. A Tiger 900 is a sweet bike. It's a sweet bike. I really enjoyed my test ride. I looked into buying one, but they didn't have any available, and they're expensive. And that was so I ended up pre-ordering the Norton instead. <sighs> you know. Dozen acres in Georgia. That's awesome, dude. New tractor day. Yeah, James, I still have it. I just got the 450L. I've only been out riding on it like four times. I just put the bar risers on and the new seat and uh, got a rear caliper protector. Frank's being modest. You can also look up his channel, One Old Man Riding, for 390 stuff. Yeah, I'm good, Tim. I've, I've seen what uh, condition your Tiger's in. And it's not a 900. You should sell that thing, though, and get a Tiger 900. This is the Tim from the Wobder, by the way. Did you guys know that? That's Tim from the Wobder. The one who uh, who finished it with me. Thank God for Tim. I would not get a GT, but I don't want to ride on the street. GT's sweet if you never take it off-road. But if you're going to take it off-road at all and you want it to be good, I'd get the Rally. Or a regular off-road and then just build it. Got yourself an ATAS? Sweet. Oh, uh, yeah, Patrick. I'd be all over that. Are you quickly down under? 20 bucks? I don't think I could fix it. It would cost me more to fix it. Thank God for Tim. I sing, That's a song I sing every night. Yeah, that's the Tim. The Tim that went up, did all of Route 6 and Route 5 and caught up to us. Because he's ridiculous. It's That shit is the reason why I bought a light dual sport. When I was like, okay, I started looking at 500 EXCFs very seriously because of Tim. And I ended up with the 450 because I got a ridiculous deal on it. And it's a Honda, but... Yeah, it's Tim's fault. That, that trip really made me see... And riding with him and seeing how much easier he had it made me uh, made me want one. Trav, you still have the sock? Shit. All right, Patrick. Well, I mean, you're Quigley and you're in Australia, so I'm Quigley down under. I don't think I'll do another BDR this year, so it'll be in the spring, or actually the summer. I don't think. That uh, the Oregon BDR will probably be runnable until at least mid June. Although I would like to get up and do a, uh, I'd love to just go ride sections one and two or something, of the Wobder again because one is so easy. I would love to ride section one and then part of two all the way to that camp spot on Bethel Ridge and then do the rest of two and come home or whatever. If I get the new tank on the 450L. The new tank and the new tires, I would consider going and doing uh, baby head on it. Thanks, NBC. Yeah, I'll tell you about the sock. It's not, uh, it's not gross. You guys think it is. Whatever you're coming up with in your head is absolutely worse, but 
When we were at the summer opener this year, we found this random purple sock. And it turned into a game. We started putting it like on each other's mirrors, and then it was on the handle on the outside of my trailer door. And then it became a... Uh... Thanks, Scott. Then it became a game of figuring out who would end up with it at the end of the trip. And so we uh, were sneaking it into each other's stuff. And, and Tim is the champion at it, but he also hides it too well so that the game is over. But I don't remember who ended up with it. Was it me after the summer opener? But the game continued at Turretech, and it moved around. And then, But at the end of Turretech, I stuck it in the, under the, uh, in the gas compartment of Trav's truck. So he didn't notice it until he stopped for gas, like in Ellensburg. And it was too late for him to put it somewhere else. So he put it in the Possibles pouches that he gave Tim. Like, hid it down inside, and Tim came all the way down to pick him up. So he'd have him for the Wobder, and then he took him home and found it. And, uh, and he, so Tim brought it and stashed it in something of Trav's on the Wobder, and Trav still has it. I'm feeling a lot more confident, Scott, I'll tell you that. So, thank you for saying that. I'm trying to get better. It helps that I ride motorcycles for a living now, so I can get out a lot and practice a lot. Like, I have a really unfair advantage. Uh, but I'm trying to maximize my opportunities, you know. The training last weekend and the weekend before really helped. Really helped. Fish out. So, so if you came in late or whatever, just a reminder, two things. One, if you want to donate tonight, please don't donate to me. Please use the GoFundMe link in the description. We are supporting our friend Travis, a.k.a. Explore Adventure Moto, whose wife died this week. Um, and uh, so we are raising money for, for funeral expenses and general living expenses. So it's really cool that he's here. Good to see him. But you can donate to that GoFundMe in the description. I don't want your money. Please give it to Travis. And don't give me money to give him because YouTube will take 30%. We don't want that. We want him to get it all. So that's for him and his family. <sighs> Excuse me. And two, we are giving away a training expedition with our friends at Ride Adventures. Sorry, I'm very burpy tonight. <sighs> it's this damn Coors Light. And that is two days of riding and training in the Bend area. So um, if you're able to attend, it would, it would be cool if you won... So we're going to give it away in a little bit here. Not too long now. And uh, all you have to do to enter is, one, go, go to the link in the description and uh, sign up for their newsletter. And that's just a once-a-month email about stuff they have going on. So Ride is a great company. They've got a ton of stuff going on. You can ride with them all over the world, Thailand, Argentina. They do Baja, California. They've got trainings coming up in Las Vegas. And I'm hoping to get into more of that stuff with them. Um, but also... They do these training expeditions in Bend, and the one that we're giving away tonight is on September 24th and 25th, and I will be one of your trainers. So you can come ride and learn with me in my favorite place to ride, probably anywhere. I just love Central Oregon. It's amazing and underrated, and if you haven't been there, deserve it, or check it out, but don't tell anyone about it. There's a link in the description, James. Link in the description for Travis's GoFundMe. Yep, I set it up. All you got to do is click on the link in the description. It's in the very first paragraph. But also we're giving away a uh, training expedition and you should sign up for the newsletter. And if you don't win, you should still come because we're trying to fill this thing. Like I said, it would be super sweet if it was six internet riding buddies all hanging out together. You know, we don't just, it's not just riding. We also hang out in the evenings and have dinner and, uh, and brewskis. Yep, absolutely big bike friendly. I did it on the, the Norden the first week and the Tenere the second week. Tyler teaches the class on an Africa Twin Adventure Sports. It doesn't get much bigger than that. We had a guy on a 1250 GS. Uh, but it's also okay for small bikes. We had a couple uh, 300Ls last week. I actually loved riding the DRZ in the sand. I don't know why those skills never translated to the bigger bikes, but uh, the, riding the DRZ in the sand never bothered me. It actually did bother me. At first, but it, it got to the point where I really enjoyed it. I agree when old man riding. I tried to convince them to hire me to run their YouTube channel. Eric sadly can't ride right now, so I think it's kind of dampened his enthusiasm. He's, um, he's recovering. He's had some physical injuries to recover from, so that's why he's not making videos at the moment. But I learned a ton from his videos long before I ever met the guy or 
even it was a pro, it was probably six videos in before I realized they were in Oregon. But they've got some great vids. Thank you, Scott. Yep. Yep. Don't be afraid to lean on your friends. And Trav, I have had I don't know how many local people reach out to me and say that if you need anything, I mean, and I don't, I don't, I mean local, like local to you. So if you need someone to get groceries or like whatever, dude, just let me know and I will let one of them know. Um, you got friends all over, so we're here for you. I'll fucking come up if, well, I'm already cussing like I do on the after party. I will come up and get groceries for you or whatever if you need it, but there are people close to you in town that want to help, so it's good to give them an opportunity. <sighs> yeah, but let's celebrate how cool the community is. You know, you guys have raised almost $7,000 for him and his family in two days. That's amazing. That is why I love this community so much. It's exactly like when you're out on the trail and you need help or directions or a tool. Someone's always there to help you, right? Everybody comes together to help you and make sure you're going to get through. And it's the same thing in life, dude. That's the community. And that's what I love about it. And that's one of the things you learn as you join the community. Is that it's, it, we got each other's backs, you know, no matter what. We don't agree on everything, but we can agree that we help each other. Anything for you, bud. I'm happy to drop some F-bombs for you. Well, that's why I made the GoFundMe, Scott. Because I knew people wanted to help. And I want to give them a way to do that. So, With Trap's permission, I asked him first, but... I can't even imagine. Uh, um, but, you know, we're also here to talk about motorcycles and, and enjoy the community, right? So, yep. Y'all are rock stars in my book. My wife's dog is like just passed out right here. Very sleepy. Mine is snoring on the back of the couch over there. Like the, uh, the idiot he is. Yeah, Itchy Boots is already to Canada. She was like in Oregon or in America for like three weeks. Done. Rockstar. Dude, I don't want to speak too soon, but I'm impressed with the bit rate. This gigabit internet is no joke. I, I goose the bit rate up quite a bit, and we are, we are averaging 4,000 easily, and I couldn't even get 2,500 at the old house. So that's very helpful. And my videos upload so fast. Like, videos upload before I finish making the thumbnail. It's crazy how fast they upload. I've got 40 gigabit upload, which is, I used to have five. So uh, that's a lot. I've gotten a pretty consistent 900 down. I, can't, I don't get the 1200 I'm paying for, but there's old coax and everything in this house. I'm happy with 900. <sighs> is she boots? Is yeah. Well, she's a good filmmaker. I'm just a dude. I'm just a dude. Yep, we're at the new place, Equip Docs. What video games do I play? Great question. Uh, I just got the new Saints Row game because I love the Saints Row games. It's one of my favorite series ever. And it's fine. It's been fun. It's just more Saints Row, which is what I wanted. Uh, play WoW. Uh, I've got three fighting games behind me. Uh, shooty games are fun. What was I playing before that? I got Lego Star Wars. That's fun. I don't even remember, dude. Right. She's a pro. I am a amateur. Technically professional, but not a professional. I'm a professional amateur. Or am I an amateur? I'm an amateur professional. That makes more sense. Yeah. I'm not a filmmaker. I'm just a dude. Amanda Zitto, she's a filmmaker. She makes films. I'm just a dude. Yeah, Halo's great. I have not tried the VR, bruh. I need to. 
I got the PS5. I got to get the headset for that. Yeah, she stole the purple sock. Uh, Xbox is my primary, but I have a PS5 and a PC. Tim, I thought about it because Lich King was my favorite era of WoW. Not even close. But uh, I just, all my characters are on retail. I just play retail. When am I coming to Las Vegas? Tyler, when am I coming to Las Vegas? I'd like to come train with them in Las Vegas, but um, I can't afford to fly there and then... It would cost me money if I don't get help getting there, I guess. But I would like to do that. Would you guys come to Vegas and train with us if I was training at a Vegas training? That was a lot of training. Who Raise your hand if you'd come to Vegas and train and ride with us if I was running the training with Tyler. Or not. Even if I wasn't. I want to ride. Vegas area is loaded with cool stuff, dude. So much cool stuff. Plus you get to go to Vegas, but... Like the riding out there, when you fly, when you fly in, it's gorgeous. Harold and I spent the whole time when we were in Vegas in February being like uh, annoyed that we were in the middle of such gorgeous riding and weren't doing any of it. <clears throat> no, I've, I've tried to convince my wife to do live streams while she makes stuff, but she hasn't so far been into it. Tyler, are you still here? Look at all the guys that are coming to, uh, to Vegas with us. Let's go, bro. Texas does not have a BDR. Your closest is uh, Colorado, Arizona. I'm not good at geography. Yeah, Wrath is my fave, Tim. That was my favorite. I had a DK. He was badass. Super OP back then. Highest level of maintenance I'm willing or comfortable to do. It depends on what I can find a YouTube video of, but basically if I have to crack the engine case, I'm probably out. Um, I did replace the uh, the clutch springs on the Grom three times. Thank you, John. I appreciate that. Tyler's in. Tyler's in. Let's go. That's the Tyler. That's who will be training you alongside me. Or actually, I'll be training you alongside him on uh, on the 24th and 25th. Okay, I'm going to use the bathroom again, and then should we give this thing away? Halfway through? I'm not going to make you wait the whole time. Now, are you all going to bail if I give it away? <sighs> Thank you, John. I Dude, I super appreciate that. I really, really appreciate that, especially now. I'm, I'm getting a lot more shitty comments lately. People are, like, super butthurt that I'm, like... I don't know. I hesitate to say successful, but at least living my dream. So it, that comments like that really help, dude, because I get some real shitty... Someone was talking about how arrogant and not humble I am, and I was just like, really? Like, am I... Has that happened? I'm terrified that I've gotten all big-headed, and I... I try not to be, you know? I don't know. Shit. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to pee. Um, let's give this trip away, Tyler. Let's find out what bike we're, what I'm riding next week. Or in two weekends? Three weekends. Yeah. I'll be right back. Hi, Chewie. I got a comment today, no joke, I got a comment earlier today about how um, I hate Hondas, right? I would never give a Honda a positive review because all I ride is European bikes that have expensive maintenance and I don't like Japanese bikes and I have more money than cents. And I was like, is this your first video? What the hell are you talking about? I just... 
I've said a thousand times that the Honda is my favorite manufacturer. If Honda had a bike that did everything I wanted, I would have every one of them. Like, it's hilarious to me. It's just a dumbass comment. <clears throat> Okay, so we're going to do a practice giveaway because I haven't given away any stickers yet and I need to just to make sure the bot's working. So, don't worry, you can win both. The odds are astronomical, but it's possible. So, let's uh, let's do a sticker pack giveaway. So, this one will be a sticker pack. I just want to make sure the bot's working and show you guys how to enter so everyone knows how to enter. Okay, so let me let me see if it's working. All right, please work, please work, please work, please work, please work, please work, please work. Please work, please work, please work, please work. It's working. It's working. That's the one. Content commentary. There he is. My flashy lifestyle. You know, where I take out loans on motorcycles that I can't afford. It literally makes the same amount I did when I was a teacher. I don't know what the hell people are talking about. But sure. I think, honestly, people hate that I'm living my dream and that they aren't. But I spent five years... Uh, working a full-time job and spending every waking free moment I had filming and editing video to get to this point. So, you know, again, I don't want to be arrogant, but I have worked hard to get here. I know content. I hope you're, you're mocking the other people. Who knows, dude? The only thing I know how to be is me, so I don't know what else to do. It's, it's too much effort to be someone else, and I'm too lazy, so... I only know how to be myself. I'm glad the bot is working. I feel better about it. Should have started the giveaway before I went to the bathroom. Because that's how you keep the chat rate up while I'm gone. It's a trick. The higher the chat rate, the more YouTube promotes your live stream. It's stupid. <sighs> I do my best. That's all I know how to do. You know? That's right, Morga. I should be Chuck Norris. Yeah, we'll bust out the whiskey on the after party. So if you're a channel member or a patron, you can come to the after party. Awesome, Forest Moto. That's great, James. You know, what's cool is to hear stuff like that, Forest Moto, because... I was inspired by Everide. Oh yeah, great to meet you, Travis. And so it's cool to hear people inspired by me in the same way I was inspired by him. That's really neat. I consider it a huge compliment. That's right, the Dork Empire. Strike me down with your hatred. Yeah, you know, it's okay to it's okay to uh want to live the life. You did content? I, I stop every time I see a motorcyclist in trouble. Because I know that someday that's gonna be me. That's gonna be me. Thanks, Sharp Pampers. Thanks, Jay Crozier. I gotta get another beer and then we'll draw a winner. Oh, we're up to one thirty. Trixie, what are you doing? Is it time to play? You need me to throw this for you? Oh yeah, she's all about it. Get it, girl. Get it, get the zoomies. Get the zoomies, girl. You have zoomies, Trixie? Well, if you don't bring it back, I can't throw it, you dummy. Trix. Trixie. No? Okay. She's over it. All right, should we draw a winner? Let's draw a winner. And the winner of the sticker pack is... Dun, da, da, da. I didn't pick the right... Hold on, I just closed the entries. Sharp Pampers! You don't have any stickers, do you? Awesome, dude. So email me, dorkadorkintheroad.com. Uh, 
with your address. I know I have it somewhere, but the email is how I keep track, so I don't forget to send it. So please email me. Sharp Pampers bought my KLR, so uh, <laughs> he had a, he has a sticker or two on his bike already. But yeah. Okay, I'm gonna give away the t the training. A few caveats. So please, everyone, this is the, my teacher moment. I want to make sure my expectations are clear. Everyone's on the same page. One, please sign up for the newsletter if you're planning to enter the contest. That is a condition I was given by the company, by Tyler. It is a small price to pay to get access to information about all the really cool stuff that they have going on, including tours that I'll be helping with. Okay? Um, two, the training, the prize we're giving away is a training expedition in Bend, Oregon. Wow, we're up to 7,700. That's awesome, my ADV360. Uh, the training we're giving away is in Bend, Oregon on September 24th and 25th. So you must be capable and willing to get to Bend, Oregon on September 24th and 25th. We're only giving away the training. If you need a bike rental, that is on you. Um, your, your, obviously, your hotel stay or I stayed in, stayed in an Airbnb or you can camp. There's a million places to camp in Bend. That's on you. What is covered? What is covered in the giveaway is the training, the six hundred dollar fee for the training. It is two days of riding and training with me and Tyler and a group of awesome dudes. So um, please don't enter if you're not willing to come to Bend for the training. <sighs> Excuse me, if you're not willing or able to come to Bend for the training, or if you haven't signed up for the newsletter, sign up for the newsletter. Any questions about the prize or what you have to be willing to do to get it? If if you if you win and then you email me and go, oh, I can't get there, I'm just going to give it to someone else. So don't enter if you can't claim the prize, please. You're just taking it away from someone who can. I know there are people who can. Yeah, Bend is a fabulous place to visit. All of the beers. All of the breweries. And I know it's short notice and not everyone will be able to enter and that's fine. But we want to give it away to someone that can be here and that can do it. Okay, so any questions before we do the giveaway? Great question. To enter, when I start the giveaway, you just type exclamation point enter. It's all you have to do. The bot will draw it randomly so you can't claim it's rigged. Whatever. It is a random bot. I have no control over who it picks. We do it randomly because randomly, randomly. So there. Any other questions? Briarick's clear. He's in. But this is, this is an in-person training. You have to come to Bend and drink beers with us. Or whatever it is you drink. They have hard liquor at the place we meet. They have coffee and tea. They have CBD water. Because it's Bend. It's rigged. Sorry, Scott. That's just, that's just uh, the odds. Okay, if you're ready, and I have to wait, that's the other thing. The reason why I'm pausing is because it takes about 10 or 15 seconds for you guys to catch up to me. So, uh, no, meals are not included. The only thing that's included is the entry fee. You have to find your own food, you bring it with you, uh, you have to have your own motorcycle or rent from them, you have to do your own accommodations. Not certified, but uh, they're paying me, so I guess that makes me a professional. I am, that's a lie. I have a master's degree in teaching, so I guess I'm pretty, I'm probably the most qualified teacher that they have, uh, but not the best writer. <laughs> I'll be camping commentary, so you stay, you camp just like me. I, it's too far for me to go, I have to go up there and stay for the weekend. It's two and a half hours away. All right, let's give it away. So you have to be willing to come to Bend. And you have to uh, sign up for the newsletter. That's what you have to do. All right. We're going to give it away right now. And we're going to find out which, who's coming with me and which bike I'm riding. Because you also get to pick which bike I ride. Okay. So as soon as it pops up. Any second now. Exclamation point enter. There you go. You have to email me with your information so I can connect you with Tyler. Yeah, you would not want to camp on my property. It's two and a half hours away. It's literally very far. We're on the other side of a mountain. 
It's all good. This one's not for everybody. If you can't get here, don't enter. That's fine. I have tons of prizes we'll give away to cool people. Uh, but if you can make it work, it's a hell of a prize. And I'm excited to ride with you. I would love to ride with all of you. If you don't win, just pay the money and sign up and come ride with us. Does Ian remind you of Butters from South Park? I never really thought about it. Um, I like Ian a lot, so I'm not going to answer that question. How about that? Do I remind you of Cartman from South Park? Because, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Tyler, we're up to 34 entries at the moment. Jeff, that is a long trek for you, bud. Thirty four is good. Uh, there's a rumor there might be some veterans back forty guys on this trip, or not. Did you talk to him today, Tyler? Did you guys work that out? I need to know if I have plans for the following weekend. All right, I'm gonna give you guys like another twenty seconds, and then let's draw a winner. I mean, if you're going to come all the way from Kansas City, Bend is a great place to visit. Bend is amazing. Seriously. And the riding, you're going to see some gorgeous stuff. Uh, Alice, they're great, because I'm one of the trainers. You can ride up to your comfort level. I had the, new, I had the newbiest group of newbies last week, and uh, they did great. You know, we just check in and coach and help them out. We had a good time. Right, we don't drink till after, dude. Obviously. No, Bend winters are not conducive to training. They move to Vegas and Baja in the winter. Uh, I will probably take my trailer because I'm going to sleep in it. Awesome, Tyler. Okay, let's draw a winner. I'm going to close entries. All right, and the winner of the weekend training expedition with me and Tyler... In Bend, Oregon, is Jeffrey Westfall. Congratulations, Jeffrey. You won. I'm excited to ride with you, dude. Also, what bike am I riding, dude? What bike am I riding? They're coming to Arizona, Scott. They're coming. So you literally can't have a beer if they're... Because there's beers... There's motorcycles in my garage. You're saying I shouldn't be drinking right now. Because they're nearby. I literally don't know him. What the hell are you talking about? Content commentary. You're just trolling now, dude. If you're going to troll, be clever. Okay? Be clever, dude. I don't let my friends win. I don't even let them enter. Not one time has a close personal friend of mine won anything. I always tell them... You don't get to win because it would look bad. So, nice try, dude. Yeah, Critter can't come. Critter's not going to come down from Canada. You don't get to pick. You're not supposed to enter if you can't win. So are you not claiming the prize? Are you not claiming the prize? Because if you're not claiming the prize, I'm going to draw again. Don't enter if you can't win. That's the point. You don't get to give it to someone else. Also, Critter doesn't need it. He's a better rider than I am. Does this look like Monster? It literally says Coors Light right on it. I need Jeff to confirm he's not going to claim the prize. And if he's not going to claim it, then yeah, we'll redraw. Jay Chapman, honorable mention. 
I mean, you're all my internet writing buddies, for sure. 100%, Gary. But I don't know you. I don't know you in person. I just said your name because it's on the screen, dude. It's no worries, Jeff. Just don't enter if you can't claim. All right, I'm drawing again. Picking a new winner. The new winner is Jay Chapman. Jay Chapman, who I don't know. You won. Can you come to Bend and ride with us, Jay Chapman? Yeah, it's a tall can, bro. This is the correct size can. Tall can. Tall can. There's only one size. Oh, man. Larceny barrel proof. Now you're speaking my language, Tom Fulery. All right, Jay. Email me. Email me, Jay Chapman. At dork at dork .com. I will connect you with Tyler. We'll get you hooked up. What bike am I riding, Jay? You have three choices. Tenere Norton or the 450L. <sighs> this beer makes me so burpy. He does it for calories? He should drink chocolate milk. Chocolate milk has way better calories. Nice notch. Sorry it takes forever, dude. Dude, freaking, uh, freaking, uh, Teespring is so slow, dude. Thanks, Dex. You're not wrong. All right, I'm riding the Norton. Okay, it's the Norton. Norton it is. Uh, talk to Tyler. Tyler, can we give away a Las Vegas? Not tonight, but at some point. That means you gotta let, you gotta get me to Las Vegas. I guess, I guess you guys don't need me to be there, but I feel like it's more fun if I get to go. All right, Jay, email me, bro. Email me. We'll get you hooked up, dude. How'd you know my Norton's name was Noreen? That's crazy. So everybody thank Tyler for donating. Tyler and Eric, but Tyler's here. So thank Tyler for donating the, the training expedition. It was Tyler from Ride Adventures who made it happen. So th big thanks, big shout out to Tyler for, for putting this prize up for grabs. That was awesome of him. Jay, I'm excited to ride the Norton with you. That's going to be cool. Completing the giveaway. Whoa. This, the chat's like... Brrr, super fast right now. What's up, Ghost Rider ADV? It's going to be awesome, dude. We're going to have a good group. We're going to have a good group. And it probably won't rain. Let's talk, Tyler. Let's make it happen. I want to ride in Vegas. I want to ride the cool area around it. I also want to go to Baja, but, you know, I'm getting greedy now. Yeah, we're not done. It's only 7.18, Motor Claw. We're going to go for another 40 minutes. I just did, I just hate the thing where they, like, make you wait to the very end. So I just wanted to give it away while we were at our peak of viewership. What's up, Gage? <clears throat> Excuse me, I belched. Are we at 7,800? That's kick-ass, dude. That is kick-ass. Rather fight one bear-sized duck or two duck-sized bears. Two duck-sized bears. Because I can just kick them. What's up, upcountry? No, Dex, I'm not... I knew, you were, I knew that you weren't being, like, insulting, dude. I got you. I got you, bro. I can take a joke. I can. It's just some people don't understand what a joke is. I knew you were kidding. I've done improv for 20 years. I know what a joke is. I can tell the difference. Yeah, in Vegas, I'm bringing the 450L. Actually, screw that. I'm going to have to rent a bike because I'm not going to ride down there on my 450L. 
I would also rather fight Halle Berry and Chocolate Pudding. Uh, BB already sold the DRZ. Would the BDR be more enjoyable on a dual sport versus a big ADV bike? Yes, unless you have a bunch of highway to get there, then it's a toss-up. Uh, yeah. On the actual BDR, I'd much rather be on a dual sport. Getting to the new BDR, I'd rather be on an adventure bike. Oh yeah, I watch Mad TV. Those guys are cool. They are actually, um, they work with Giant Loop a ton. So I actually get a bunch of, we, we uh, conversate once in a while. I did not get a tractor yet. Enjoying the new house. We're in it right now. Love to shoots brewing. Love to shoots brewing. Drove by it four times last weekend. Yeah, I was very impressed with the, they got the, the they put the good suspension on the Norden. That's the way to go. If I keep it long term, I'm definitely going to have the res the suspension redone. At least resprung. I guess you can't have the fronts revalved, but you can have it resprung. And it's a little soft. Yeah, I'm not going to put the $6,000 if I if I wanted to put the $6,000 suspension on my Norden, I would just go buy an Adventure R. I would go buy an 890 and get it put a seat concepts on it. They're ugly as shit, but it's the only, it, that it would be cheaper to sell my Norden and buy an 890 Adventure R than it would be to put the new suspension on my Norden. Sorry, BB. I 100% can see myself buying another DRZ someday. There's only one year of Nordens, man. So it's a 22. It's the only year there is so far. It just came out. Crap. I didn't have to pee again, guys. I shouldn't have broke the seal. I just keep leaving you. Yeah, if I could find a rally, they're so expensive. That's what Ian bought. I don't know how he must have paid up that up the butt to get that. Like I thought, the fourteen grand for the Norden was a lot of money. It's the most expensive bike I've ever bought. Need a dork sticker for your KLR? Yeah, you can order them on dorkintheroad.com, Noah. Or should we do a giveaway? Should we do a giveaway? Let's do a sticker pack giveaway because I have to pee anyway. All right, so you can enter to win a sticker, and I'll email, I'll mail it to you. So exclamation point enter. I'll be right back. Ooh. Right back. Save myself the trouble. I'll grab another one right now. Oh man, the 16 ounces are going down fast. It's gonna get sloppy on the after party. We might have to start it early. I mean, we started the stream early, so that makes sense. That makes sense to do that. All right, you guys want stickers, huh? Get some stickers. And stickers are open wherever. I'll, I'll ship them internationally. I don't care. So uh, wherever you are. Enter. And it's a big fat sticker pack. It's Dork in the Road stickers and Giant Loop stickers and Seat Concept stickers. I got Moto Camp Nerd stickers in there. And uh, I think I'm out of Bridge Bikes or I'm out of Explore Adventure Moto stickers. Yeah. I'm out of Fort Love and Knob stickers. I have some Barber Ride stickers. Also, Blue Skies. I don't have a DRZ anymore, but. You should still get one because they're awesome. Or I can ride your second one is what you're saying. All right. The winner of the sticker pack is... Motorclaw. Congratulations. Congratulations, Motorclaw. 
And, you know, just go ahead and confirm in the comments that we are not close personal friends. You're just a random internet writing buddy like the rest of us. Cheers to Motorclaw. Yeah, Lil Dork just hasn't been riding that much. Uh, I'm trying to get her out more. She's just busy with high school and stuff. She's got a boyfriend now. It's like a whole thing. Yeah, sorry guys. Thanks, Motorclaw. Congrats. My internet riding buddy. Yeah, but if Olin sponsors them, I still have to do them, and I'm not I'm not gonna mess with suspension. I'm gonna pay somebody. Wow, the air condition's going ape shit right now. I moved the mic closer so you guys wouldn't have to hear that as much. What's up, Wildflower? Plan for the T seven is to ride it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, the, I got a family of deer living on my property, but I don't think I'm going to shoot them. They named the buck Dave. My wife and kid. Oh yeah, she's not so little. Oh, I'd love to ride in New Zealand. I'd love to ride in Australia. Um, obviously, I'd love to ride in Mexico, which I didn't do when I was there, and I regret. Uh, all kinds of places. Vietnam, my hair is amazing. <sighs> but Lil Dork will get her license next year and we can go moto camping on the bikes. Awesome, no friendo. How many miles on my bikes? Uh, the Norden has almost 3,000 now. I think the Tenere is at about 1,300. 450L is less than a thousand, and Lil Dork's XT225 has 15,000 miles on it. It's seen some shit. I'd love to ride a 650L. Love to. Don't know anybody who has one. Yeah, Robert, that's how it's done. I don't know if you guys could tell, but I'm not doing keto right now. I'm also putting on the weight, but... With the move and everything, it's been so chaotic. We couldn't even cook for, like, whatever. I've just gotten off track. I'll get back on. But in the meantime, I'm going to enjoy some Coors Lights. I don't really camp places where there's other people around, CRF family, but... I used to be really paranoid about that, and I've just sort of gotten over it. Just be smart about where you camp, and, you know, people in campgrounds generally aren't going around stealing stuff, and when you are, uh, when you're wild camping, the chances of somebody finding you are really slim, so I don't worry about it too much. I mean, obviously I take the key out of my bike and stuff like that, but. Alright, Lucas, it's a date. Yeah, I'd love to ride with the cross-training guys. Dates for what, Forest Moto? Hardest trail I've been on. Okay, well, it's it's relative because the hardest trail I've been on was re was when I was good enough to ride it or close to it. But there was a time when McLovin and I got stuck on this blue trail, which I could probably ride now, but at the time was way over my head. That is one, and another time is when when Duck Fan and I were on that trail at Shotgun Creek, and uh, and it was a blue, but it was crazy. That was the most in over my head I've ever been, which is a trail I could totally ride now. I know I could, but at the time it was really scary. It was really scary. If I could live anywhere in the U.S. for the best riding, I mean I'm. We kind of live in the dual sport mecca. I don't get out enough. If you like trail riding. Uh, if I wanted to just... Otherwise, Colorado. Because the, the views and the vistas and the mountains. and You know, like... We were at 6,500 feet last weekend. That felt pretty good. But in Colorado, the passes are like 15,000 feet. So... 
Colorado's, but Colorado is not rideable all year long, so there's a balance there. The nice thing about here is there is snow in places, but the uh, the coast range to the west it gets wet, but it's not snowy in the in the winter. So I can ride year round here. <coughs> and in Colorado, I don't know if I'd be able to do that. So that's an advantage. I mean, I get wet. But uh, yeah, I can still ride. I can go out and ride in my rain gear year round. So that's why I like it here. Mm. Elevation sickness, huh? That sucks. Dude, this camera makes my eyes look so blue. It's nuts. Oh crap! Speaking of Duck Fan, that I already I already mentioned it once, but. Duck Fan is selling his Ducati, so if anyone wants to buy a 95 Ducati 900 SSSP in immaculate condition with ridiculous amount of upgrades on it, he's selling it, I think for eight grand, Which is high, but it's got a ton of shit on it, and it's not like those are falling out of the trees. You know, like, it's, they're not easy to find, so... His is in great shape. I don't know why the hell he's selling it, but he is. I think he wants to buy a side-by-side -side or some dumb shit. But if anyone's looking for one, or if anyone's interested in it, and it's numbered, like these bikes are numbered. It's, uh, it's a sweet bike. It's a sweet bike. Delicious. Have you ever considered have you done a review of bikes you purchased? I mean, yeah, I've, I've reviewed almost every bike I own. What do you mean? I've made a few videos like why I bought a blank. Yeah, I try to. No, but not like the, I'm not talking about the freaking VIN number. I'm talking about like, like number fifteen of three hundred. Ready to repair, yeah. Oh, looking back, that's a that's a good idea, Paul. I have done a video about on all the bikes I've owned. Um, but no, I haven't really done a, my progression. All right, you guys are veering into politics territory, which we try to stay away from, so, uh, just FYI, we're gonna, we're gonna not talk about politics. The point of ADV writing is to talk about things that bring us together, not things that divide us. Any reviews on the tires I've been testing? Not yet. Do you want me to tell you? Uh, the Dual Sport, the, the Tusk D-Sport tires, I'm very impressed with. Very impressed with. And the, uh, I'm running the Tractionator, uh, Rallies? Tractionator Adventure? What the hell? No, Rals. I'm running the Tractionator Rals on the rear. Very impressed with the traction. But, uh, I'm not sure how they're wearing. I've got 2,000, 2,500 miles on one, and it's about half gone. Which is actually pretty good for a rear. It's pretty good for a rear. I'll take it. I was, uh, 38 when I started riding. 38? It's 2016. I was 37. 37. Uh, I've got uh, D Sports going on the 450L. Do I like them better than the Trackmasters? I like them about the same. I like them about the same. But the advantage of the, of the D Sports is they're half the price, dude. They're only 60 bucks a tire. That's really good. And they're really, for 60 bucks, they're amazing. They're amazing at 100 bucks. They're good tires. They're not like perfect. The front can push a little, but they're good. Um, and they wear really well. I have 2,500 miles on my Tusk D-Sport front on the Norden, and it doesn't look like it's... It looks like I have 50 miles on it.
Kevin, uh, you're in Bend? Sweet, dude. So we're doing a, it's a training expedition. So there's training and then also riding. It's about 50-50. So if you want to practice some basic skills, and I'm, you know, I'm an experienced rider and I got something out of it. Uh, that we're doing on the 24th and 25th. There's actually a link in the description if you want to check it out to the training expeditions. And I would encourage you to do that if you're in Bend because you can come ride with us in two weeks or three weeks. 24th and 25th. Thank you, Wrench to Ride. That's pretty cool. You're watching from campsite. That's awesome, dude. I think the new V-Stroms look cool. I want to ride one. Awesome, Chris. Got a T7, but can't get rid of your KLR. It has character. Do I miss my KLR? You want the honest answer? I love the KLR. I think it's a great bike. I think everyone should own one at some point. But no, I don't miss it. Paul, why did I get the 450L over a 500 EXCF? Because I got the 450L for $7,700 with 600 miles. And I was, uh, I was making offers on 500 EXCFs and nobody would budge. And I got this bike for $7,700 and I was like, shit, I'll just go Honda then. So. Yeah, Kevin, you should join us. It's a, it's a good time, dude. It's a good time. I've been on two now. It's been a blast every time. So, it'd be cool to have you. Yeah, ride what you got, Rinse to Ride. Hell yeah. Thanks, Paul. Sometimes it's about what you can get the best deal on. People are always like, should I get a, a XT250 or a KLX230? And I'm like, whatever you can get the best price on. They're not that different. They're not that different. Just get whatever you can get the best deal on and ride it. Yeah, that, I can't believe the guy sold it to me for that. He was obviously not hurting for money when I got to his place. Like, he had a private batting cage and stuff on his property. So he was just trying to offload it. He didn't bat an eye when I offered him 300 less than he was asking. I know, Lexi. He had it listed for 8K for like two weeks. I do not understand how that bike didn't sell. At 8k and the fact that he went down even because i was like it's going to cost me 300 in gas to get there would you uh would you consider go lowering your price for that much and i was like yep sorry he was like yep okay jeremy i'm afraid i like it too much soft panniers all day brett brent um, if you want to know why, watch literally any BDR uh, official movie. Almost every one of those official BDR movies, there's a scene where somebody clips their hard pannier on a rock or a log, and they crash, and it breaks the pannier off, and they have to spend a bunch of time repairing it on the side of the trail. Almost every time. You also don't want to go down with your foot under a hard pannier. Soft pannier... I, I, I banged my soft panniers up against a log and a rock face on the Washington BDR and just kept riding. They're barely scuffed. It's just safer. Just safer. Gary, I have ridden a dirt bike. It was, uh, it was our friend Travis's 450X. The clutch was a little funky. and it, I haven't ridden it since he fixed it, that he adjusted the valves. So, But maybe this weekend. This next weekend. Yeah, not tomorrow. Next weekend. Because we're going to be in the same place. We'll swap 450s and see how we feel. Actually, Trav, if you're up for it, that's a great video idea. We should, uh, we should swap 450s and see, about, see the differences. I know the 500 EXCF is a decent light adventure bike because that's what Tim was riding on the Wobder. Y'all get out of here with that Moscow blast to me. We know, you know we're a giant loop household. Jeremy, those are great. Tons of bees. You absolutely can attach a Popsible's pouch to the Mojave. There's actually a, there's like a picture of it in the instructions, I think. Possible's pouch. You can do a Klamath bag. You can do a Rogue Tail bag. You could do a, uh, an Armadillo bag. Whatever you want. No, I took cash, Brad. The pin shot you in the bicep, dude? That sucks. 
Sorry, man. That sounds awful, man. Problem with the 501 is that composite subframe. It's a great bike otherwise. Composite subframe and the, the linkage. That's why the 500 EXCF is better. Because I actually prefer the look of the Husky. I really do. I like the Huskies better. But uh, the, 50, the 500 EXCF is just better in a couple ways that are pretty significant. Depends on the year. But that composite subframe is a real deal breaker. Because literally a deal breaker. They break all the time. Especially if you want to throw bags on there and make it into an adventure bike. <sighs> yeah. Well, you're in luck, Adventure Glide, because they just got bought out by a hydration backpack company. So, you can buy a Usui hydration pack. Dang, we're almost at two hours, guys. Almost time to, uh... Switch to the after party. What makes me say it about the composite? They break super easy, dude. Loop it one time and you'll break your subframe. Oh yeah, Matt. This is not the old place. This is the new place. It's the D&D basement, bud. Honestly, Chris, no. I have no interest in riding a street bike. I would much rather just ride my adventure bike on the street. I don't like riding on the street. Street is a, is a, is a means to the end for me means to an end. It gets me where I want to be, but I'm I'm more comfortable on an adventure bike because of the upright position and all the room for my knees and stuff, and I ride it as fast as I need to be. I need to be able to ride. I saw something online about Giant Loop being closed to actually go see them. You mean like going to Sweden? I don't know. No? Yeah, so... A few things, guys. A few things. And you know, we got a couple minutes left, but one, please, if you're able, donate to the GoFundMe for our friend Travis. Um, he just lost his wife, and she was only 36 years old, so we, uh, we're, we have a GoFundMe running for him. There's a link to that in the description. We're at almost $8,000, which is amazing. Amazing. Like, this community's really coming together, and that's fantastic. And I'm going to hand him the money next weekend, assuming I can get the bank account thing set up. I need to do that. Um, two... Sign up for the newsletter for Ride Adventures. There's a link to that in the description. But also, if you're able, if you're, if you're local, come to the training expedition we're doing on the 24th and 25th of this month, the last one in Bend. And uh, come to that and train and ride with me and Tyler. I'll be one of the trainers. It's going to be awesome. So it's two days of riding and awesomeness and hanging out. And we always like have beers after. and you know, So it's not just like riding and training, but we, it's kind of hanging out for the weekend. Which is cool. So check that out. There's a link to that in the description. Uh, something else I was going to say. The video day two of the training expedition is coming out on Monday. So that's good. And also if, you're, um, if you want to hang out on the after party. So we always do about an hour of an after party. I usually smoke. I'm not going to now because I'm in the basement. I'm not in the garage. But, uh, and thanks to everyone who's donated. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. If you want to come hang out on the after party, we'll do kind of a, uh, for members and patrons. So if you're a member or a patron, I will stop this stream. I will start a new stream and then I will share the link in a members only post on YouTube and uh, on Patreon so that you guys can come hang out. And the nice thing about those are there's not as many people. It's easier to get your questions answered. We just kind of hang out. And I start saying the F word a lot more. You know, that's why we started doing the after parties because I drink too much. And so by the end of two hours, it's hard for me to keep it professional. So I don't. Hell yeah, Matt. I love my Tillamook bag. It's an awesome bag. That's my favorite piece of soft luggage, luggage period. Thank you to everyone who's donated to Travis's GoFundMe, seriously. Um, it, it means so much to him and to, to me and to the whole community to see everyone coming together to make that happen. To take care of one of our own, you know. See what we're up to. Holy shit, we're at almost $8,000. Good job. You guys are amazing. Like, seriously, thank you all so much. That... Oh. Honestly, I'm speechless. That is... $7,800 in a day and a half to support our friend, you know, who's going through a hell of a time, dude. That's so cool. Wyatt. Dual sport adventure bike. Whichever one you're most comfortable on. All are welcome as long as they're street legal. 
The link is in the description. Grandma, Grandma rides. Juma rides. I'm not going to assume that's Grandma. Juma rides. There's a link in the description. Very first paragraph. Made it easy to get to. Five and one, or I would take the five and one, but I was kind of hoping that Jay would pick the four fifty L for me, but nah. He picked the uh, he picked the Norden, which is fine. I love the Norden; it's fun to ride, so I'll do that. But I was hoping to get it on the four fifty L, but I'm riding the four fifty L this weekend, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, you got to tie him off, Matt. I actually made a video on that on the Giant Loop channel if you want to check it out. Grandma rides. Okay, got gotcha. you. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to end this stream. Thank you, Travis. Thank you, Travis. No, man, we're here for you. We got you, bud. We got you. I'm going to end the stream. I'm going to use the bathroom real quick, and then I will start the members-only stream. So give me five-ish minutes. So it's a good time to become a member, a channel member or a patron if you aren't yet. But, uh, yeah. So I'm going to say thanks, guys. It's been two hours. So I'm going to take off. Uh, switch over to the members only stream, but I just want to thank you all for hanging out. I want to thank you all for donating to the GoFundMe. Thank you for joining the newsletter, and I hope to see some of you in a couple weeks in Bend on September 24th and 25th uh, and the training expedition. I hope you sign up because it's going to be cool to see my internet writing buddies in real life and also get a chance to kind of coach and work with you because, you know, as a teacher by profession and, you know, spending 10 years, it's so nice to have the opportunity. It's so nice to have the opportunity to teach again. So thank you for that. But uh, I'm going to take off because I have to pee. So I'll catch up with you members and patrons in a minute. Everyone else, I'll see you in the videos or I'll see you in person or I'll see you at the next live stream. But for now and as always, I just want to say thank you very much for watching. And please do not forget to be excellent to each other. I thank you. <laughs>